Good afternoon, Ontario Rotary, board members, district personnel, principals, parents, and fellow classmates. It is a pleasure to be here today to accept this award. My name is Michael Gomez, and I'm an 8th grader at Bonnet East Middle School. I'm the oldest child in my family. I have one younger brother and no sisters. My mom and dad are from Ontario. I attended Edison Academy for six years. I have many aspirations for my future and lifetime. Some of these aspirations include going to college, getting good grades, and getting a good career. Once I go to college, I hope to go to UCLA. Once at UCLA, I hope to get a psychology degree. Once I get this degree, I want to become a therapist. Who will I be giving therapy to? Well, I want to help others with mental health and wellness. The reason I want to go into this occupation is because seeing how therapy can help and impact other people's lives really inspires and motivates me to do it myself. Also, because I want to go into a career that allows me to help others. I feel that OMSD is great at helping me reach these post-secondary dreams. But before you can reach these dreams, you have to focus on high school, and OMSD is also great at preparing you and transi transitioning you into high school. There are many of the same classes, such as ASB and yearbook. I personally am an ASB, and I feel that a lot of the ideas and events that happen will also happen in high school, such as rallies and dances. This gives me a generally good idea of what high school will be like. Even with online school being a big change, I feel that there are still a lot of resources that students have, such as being able to stay after Zoom to ask any question or teachers telling them any resources they have, such as scholarships, which you can apply for. I feel OMSD as a whole is a great district and it teaches you a lot of vital skills required for high school and even college, such as responsibility, safety, efficiency, and hard work. These are all vital skills needed for future success. In closing, I would like to thank the Ontario Rotary, Dr. Hammond, and principals in attendance for this great honor. I appreciate your active participation in recognizing the hard work of students. I would also like to congratulate all my fellow classmates who have earned the distinctive Student of the Year. Finally, I would like to thank all people who have supported me and impacted my life, such as friends, school staff, teachers, family, Ms. Ayala, Ms. Arvisu, my dad, and especially my mom. I would list names, but if I did, we would be here all day. Thank you, and go Mighty Bobcats! My name is Michelle Lam from De Anza Middle School, and it's an honor to be chosen as Rotary Student of the Year. First of all, I'd like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Hammond, the school board, and the members at the Rotary Club for making this achievement possible for me. I'd also like to thank our principal, Dr. Gonzalez, and my teachers for supporting me throughout my years at De Anza. Lastly, I would like to thank my best friend Miranda Rodriguez for supporting me and being a good friend. I know that this year has been difficult for most students, but my teachers keep me motivated every day and making me a better student. Some challenges I came across during distant learning is that I didn't have the nerves to ask for help. The thing that I learned about this challenge is that when asking for help, it can lead you to a higher level of learning than before. With this lesson, I can learn that I was able to make myself more confident in asking for help during difficult times. Thank you to those who make me a better student and a better person. Good afternoon. My name is Camila Verdusco and I am from Vineyard STEM. I am honored to be recognized here today, especially under the given circumstances. I would like to thank, first of all, the Rotary Club of Ontario and for all the opportunities that they provide for the community. They have contributed and helped in so many ways. I would also like to thank my school, my teachers, Ms. Shiner, Mr. Koo, and Dr. Swartz, and a thank you to Mr. Hobbs and Ms. Ariano. I would also like to thank the superintendent, Dr. Hammond, as well as the district for all that they do for our students. A special thanks to my parents for always being there for me. This year, I have been chosen as Rotary Student of the Year. I believe this is so because I have persevered and managed to continue moving forward throughout this entire school year. And considering the times we're in, I have managed to maintain a 4.0 GPA. This year, I was happy to be a, a part of our eighth grade leadership team, where we came up with things to help our school, from making news videos to coming up with events for spirit weeks. It took time and effort. I'm grateful to say I was a part of this wonderful team. I am also in a math honors class and in a Mesa class here at Vineyard, here at Vineyard, which have both taught me so many different skills sets that have benefited my learning. 
Being here at Vineyard has given me so many unique opportunities. Because it is a STEM school, we are always seeing and learning about topics that have to do with science, technology, engineering, and math. Examples include entering in the annual science fair, as well as having gr many great pieces of technology, like our 3D printers. Other examples are being in MESA classes and moving forward to compete with projects. And the higher math classes that are provided for those who are ready. Like, I'm taking Integrated 1, which is high school level math, here at Vineyard as an 8th grader. This school has provided me with endless opportunities that will benefit my future. Now, a while back, I had said that my goals this year at Vineyard were to have fun and earn good grades. Now. As this school year is getting closer to the end, I can confidently say that I have made this last year of my school memorable. I'm going to miss it for sure. After high school, I would like to go to an in-state college and possibly university. Career-wise, I have a few ideas in mind. Some interests of mine would be going down the real estate path or in cybersecurity. I suppose we'll see as time goes by. Again, I am very grateful for being chosen as Rotary Student of the Year. It is an honor. I would like to thank everyone here for your time and effort in supporting me and my education. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking the Ontario Rotary, the OMSC Board of Trustees, Superintendent Hammond, my principal, Mr. Lopez, and especially my teachers, Ms. Vo, Ms. Sound, Ms. Manuel, and Mr. Gonzalez for recognizing me as the Rotary Student of the Year. I'd also like to acknowledge my parents and former teachers for supporting me through my academic journey leading up to this point. My name is Anthony Alvarez. I'm 13 years old and I'm currently attending Edison Academy. However, in a short period of time, I will officially be promoted from Edison after a long yet memorable nine year stay. It has been a tremendous privilege to be honored as the Rotary Student of the Year as a send off to my path through this school. And I'd like to thank everyone at my school for supporting me for so long, especially during this worldwide pandemic. Arriving at this point was no small feat, as it's taken years upon years of hard work to get wor to where I am today. I've been through a multitude of experiences in this school, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I've managed to always change for the better, becoming a stronger person and ready to move forward with my future aspirations. Holding on to my values of integrity and grit are part of what I can attribute to my academic success. I've always held high standards for myself in the education field, because I knew I was capable of greatness. At moments, though, it felt like my hard work hadn't paid off, and it was painful to experience in the moment. But I realized that every struggle led to a learning opportunity that I could gain, helping to further my progress in school and my goals. Ultimately, I do feel like as if I'm lucky in a sense. I understand where I want to be in the future, what I want to do with my life, and what I'd like to achieve. I want to become an animator, helping to make new memories with fictional characters for generations to come. However, even if I change my mind, that's fine too. I still have an abundance of opportunities to be the best I can be, as long as I can portray strength and overcome the struggles of taking part in the new task that I want to accomplish. Again, thank you for this recognition. As for my other Rotary Peers of the Year, I hope you all continue tr to triumphantly succeed through your efforts in education. And as my final words to everyone, thank you for your time. Hello, my name is Angel Nantiridant and I am honored to have been chosen as Student of the Year at Vernon Middle School for the year 2020 to 2021. First of all, I would like to thank all those who have and will continue to support me throughout my education. Also, I would like to thank Principal Ms. Tovar for nominating me for such an honorable award. Although at this point in history, has been quite a demanding and grim time for all. Everyone listening to this right now has shown their perseverance within their hearts. And I think this truly proves that the times are changing for the better as we head into a grand tour of four years at our high schools of choice. And lastly, I am indebted to all my supporters my parents, and my teachers who have been there throughout the journey thus far. A sincere thank you. To my fellow students listening, we have come this far in our education despite these circumstances. This is not a time to give up, but a time to persevere. My name is Angel Natividad, and I am so thankful and honored to be Student of the Year at Vernon Middle School. Thank you for listening. Emma Gonzalez, and I would like to thank Serrano Middle School staff and all of you for recognizing me as Serrano's Rotary Student of the Year. I'm looking forward to being able to tell my teachers, family, and friends about this recognition. This is something that makes me feel proud of myself because my hard work is being noticed and my parents are proud of me. Now that I'm closing the chapter of my middle school years, I'm looking forward to high school. 
I'm excited and nervous at the same time to start this new journey. I will continue working hard in high school so that I may get into the college of my choice, and I also look forward to seeing my friends again and making new ones. I, pre I appreciate all the support and guidance that the teachers and staff have provided me with to excel in this, during this pandemic. I also would like to thank my family for always encouraging me to get out of my comfort zone in order to excel. As you know, my academics are very important to me. I'm proud to say that every year I keep growing in regards to my education. I've gone from a 1075 to 1254 on the reading inventory, or my Lexile level, and I got a 4, the highest possible score, on our benchmark assessment, the ICA, in 2020. Last year I was, last year I was in honors for all my classes, but unfortunately, since I scored a 3 on the 2018 to 2019 SBAC, I was not able to take honors again this year. The last point that I would like to make is that I consistently um, kept a GPA 4.0 since the year started. As many have hobbies, I would like to speak about my hobbies. One hobby is playing basketball. I wasn't able to play on the Serrano Middle School basketball team last year, but my goal is to play in high school. Another hobby is listening to all types of music, depending on my mood. One of my favorite genres is Afrobeat, a genre my father from Kenya introduced to me. While listening to Afrobeats, my family gathers and learns new dances, and most importantly, spends time together as a family. I also have a lip gloss company that I just started, which is super exciting. My career dreams and aspirations seem to change daily. I want to be a dermatologist, a photographer, a teacher, and a babysitter who babysits babies only. I have so many things that I wish to do, but they always change. One day I want to be a scientist, and another I want to be a computer programmer, but my thoughts are always changing. In high school, I'm looking forward to learning about new things and keep growing academically. I'm also looking forward to graduating and going to college to become whatever I want. Last, I would like to talk, talk about my family and how they have helped me to become the person that I am today. My family is biracial, both are from minority groups. Because of this, I am aware that I will face challenges, and this is a very motivating factor. Growing up, my father always made me do extra math homework aside from what my teachers assigned, and I always got so upset because I wanted to watch TV or go play with my friends. Once I was old enough, my parents explained that I had to prove to people that I can be as good as people who are privileged because of the color of my skin. At the time my parents explained, I didn't really care because I was still upset that I didn't get to watch TV all day. Now in 2021, I finally realized after seeing all the racial injustices that exist, that I had to do well in school and earn a good reputation because if I mess up, I'll give people the wrong impression of me. I now know that if I want to succeed, it is going to be through my education. I am dedicating to finish my, finishing my middle school year strong and continuing my academic success in high school and college. I know there are going to be some obstacles that I may have to face. The color of my skin will not stop me from doing well in school and living my life. My dad told me that if I want to do good at, in school, I have to keep a positive mindset. So this year I am taking my positive mindset and doing well in school. Thank you so much for providing me with this opportunity and taking time out of your day to listen to me speak. I want to thank Rotary Club, Dr. Hammond, the OMSD board for giving me, this, giving me this opportunity to share my life. Again, I'm really proud to have this opportunity and thank everyone who has made this possible. Have a wonderful rest of your, a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Hello, my name is Janessa Lorenzo. I am 13 years old and I'll be a ninth grade student at Colony High School this fall. I would like to thank the Rotary Club for this recognition and Wilty Middle School for naming me Rotary Student of the Year. I feel like I've grown a lot since my sixth grade year at Wilty, both in my education as well as a person. I look back now and realize how much all my teachers have been there for me. They've supported me and have been patient with me throughout the years, ensuring that I would be able to learn the material. I've had many troubles as well. I mostly struggle in science. In fact, I still struggle with science to this day. But I still try my hardest, and I feel like I'm slowly understanding. Thanks, in part, to my patient teacher, Mr. Alvarez. In the near future, I look forward to making my family proud and becoming the first in my family to graduate from high school on time. I also plan to finish my education and get a job I'm passionate about in the future, which would be a great accomplishment for me. I hope to be the first in my family to attend university and go to New York University and major in fine studio arts. I look forward to seeing New York City, studying, and making that. It would be a dream come true. Again, I would like to thank everyone in my family and life for being very supportive. I'd like to thank my teachers, school staff, principal, for trying to make this year 
as normal as possible. I especially like to thank my family. It's an honor to be World Seed Rotary Student of the Year. Good afternoon, Rotary Club members, Dr. Hammond, Ontario Montclair School Board members, and Board of Trustees. It is my honor to be recognized on behalf of Oaks Middle School as Rotary Student of the Year. I would like to thank the Rotary Club, Dr. Hammond, and the Board of Trustees. My name is Sandra Johnston, and I'm an eighth grader at Oaks Middle School in Ontario. A little background information about me is that I enjoy Taekwondo. I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. I first became involved with Taekwondo eight years ago, and now I enjoy participating in competitions, trainings, and furthering my skills. I compete at national level and have traveled to many different states to compete. I was ranked number one in the nation at Red Belt. I have won many state competitions. I got third place at nationals. I also enjoy being a member of the Oaks Middle School Color Guard team. Even though COVID has prevented our team from practicing and competing together, our teacher managed to keep the team together by creatively piecing our routines together with the use of Zoom. When I'm not doing color guard, I also really enjoy drill team at Oaks Middle School because the style of movement is the exact opposite of color guard. When I have downtime at home, I like to crochet and knit because they both remind me of my grandmother who taught me. Speaking of family, I wouldn't be representing my middle school without the love and support from both my mom and my dad. I appreciate how involved my parents are with my education and life. I feel like my parents are great role models because they both work really hard at their jobs, yet they always still have time for me. The last family member worth mentioning is my new puppy that my parents allowed me to get. His name is Berno and I have enjoyed taking on the new responsibility of looking after him. I am proud of my academic achievements, especially from this year, because distance learning has not been easy on anyone but I was still able to maintain a 4.0 grade average. I am grateful to all of my amazing teachers who managed to keep learning fun, even though we are learning from home. I am very excited about returning to in-person learning on April 19th. I am especially excited to attend math and social studies as they are my two favorite classes. I am looking forward to my future and I'm excited about attending high school. I know there will be a lot of work ahead of me because I am hoping to take honors and AP classes. I would like to go to Texas State University where I hope to major in mathematics so I can become a teacher. One of the reasons I would like to become a teacher is because of my fourth grade teacher, Ms. Bailey. Ms. Bailey had a huge impact on my life because of her friendly and fun approach to teaching. Ms. Bailey always showed love and care for her students and I hope that someday I will be able to create that same environment in my own classroom. Thank you once again to the Rotary Club, Dr. Hammond, and the Board of Trustees. I feel blessed to have been chosen for this honor. Hello everybody, my name is Azucena Soto and I'm an eighth grade student at Central Language Academy. I have been at CLA for around seven to eight years where I've learned to include the CLA three season art into my daily life, which are compassion, collaboration, confidence, and responsibility. CLA has taught me the meaning of overcoming and trying my best while doing my work. While the school year started negatively with distance learning, COVID, and quarantine, it is starting to end positively with hybrid learning and the COVID vaccine. My teachers and classmates have supported me when I committed mistakes and have helped me improve my work and how I view myself. My family has shown me how to work with what I have, and overall they have all taught me the meaning of overcoming and improving. Again, I would like to say thank you to my teachers, Ms. Wara, Ms. Lopez, Mr. Nanez, Ms. Wong, Mr. Monhe, and my principal, who chose me to represent CLA. I would also like to say thank you to the Rotary Club, Dr. Hammond, and the entire Montclair School Board for congratulating me and recognizing me as a student of the year. Throughout my journey at CLA, I have struggled with stress and overthinking due to my work and what I'm going to do after I leave CLA. I now know that CLA has prepared me well to know who I want to be in the future and what I want to do. Once more, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who has helped me become who I am today, and thank you for your time. Mm -hmm.